Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and welcome to the Move Tutorial. Press A to jump, and A again to double jump. If you're doing this while moving forward with the left control stick, you can time it just right, you hit A three times, and you get a triple jump out of, the, out of it. So one, two, three, and you get the most jump, the most upper momentum, and the most forward momentum. Now, there are other jumps that are useful as well, because you do a lot of jumping in this game, it's kind of important. So if you just uh, hit to the left or right, and then the opposite direction, you see Mario kick his feet into the ground like that? If you hit A right when he does that, you can uh, get him to do the, the side somersault jump just like that. So basically run one direction and then immediately turn around and hit A and you'll jump the other direction. So if I want to jump towards this wall, I, I run away from it and jump back towards it. And you saw another trick just then, I'll explain it in a second. Another good jump is the spin jump. Basically spin the control stick and then hit A. And you can get a nice bit of uh, sideways and upward momentum out of that. So if you do it while you're running, if you run, spin jump, you can maintain a little bit of your forward momentum, I think. Another cool thing with this game is that if you're trying to get around really fast, hit the B button, you can slide along the ground like this. If you want to go even faster, you can squirt some water on the ground and use it like a slip and slide, and really get some speed up. Yeah, I run into the stuff because you see those little stars coming out of Mario's head, it's pretty cool. Alright, so the next thing I want to talk about is wall jumping. Basically, if you jump towards a wall, Mario will slide down it. Let's get some height on this, on this jump here so you can see it. See? If you hit A at any point during that, you can wall jump. And the result is that you can use it to get up to places that you wouldn't normally be able to reach. So like these tops of these buildings up here, if you want to get up there, all you have to do is wall jump. And if you time it right, you can get up there with only a couple of them, too. Now, some neat tricks that you can do with the flood. Basically, uh, the first is that sliding using the slip, like a, like a slip and slide kind of deal. And you already know how to use the hover nozzle. That one's fairly simple. Now, you can actually get a lot more distance out of the hover nozzle than you might think. Because the device is actually a lot more useful for going sideways than it is for going up. So I'm going to platform this a little bit and the top of this tower if I can get Mario to do the jump. Occasionally, it's hard to get him to do the side somersault jump while you have a small amount of area, but the spin jump, spin jump will work fine. Now, let's say I want to go over to that bell tower. It looks like it might be too far away. It certainly looks like it is. With a good spin jump, and a properly timed hover nozzle, well, throw, we can easily make it. Now, if the bell looks weird, it's because, yeah, it's, I cleaned it on this profile. This is not the profile you guys are watching the LP on. This is my completed profile. Which I actually haven't been using as practice, it's just been around. Just sitting around gathering dust. So in these other boxes, we've got the uh, other nozzles. The blue one is the hover nozzle. And picking it up automatically refills your water, too. So you pick up one of the other ones. This is the turbo nozzle. Hold R to charge up. And you'll see the, the bar on the right side of the screen increasing. And once it gets to the top, we can really zip forward at high speeds. Now, what's even cooler is when you go out into the water like this. Because it automatically refills your water each time you, all the time when you're using it. You basically have infinite water while you're in the ocean. And then... You can uh, run run around pretty damn fast too. So if you need to go anywhere on like uh, a couple a couple of the levels that have a lot of water, this is a fast way to get there, especially when you're near the beaches. On land, it's not as useful because as you see the turning, because like this is your sharpest turning radius here, and you can like just barely can make turns. So honestly, you have to stop and start a lot if you're going to use it on land. What's funny is that if you lightly hold the trigger like I'm doing right now. You get just enough air coming out of that fan that Mario has to run forward so he doesn't fall over. But it doesn't actually charge the device. Which I always thought was so funny. I'm just running around like this sometimes. No, I'm not even hitting the control stick, I'm just hitting the right trigger, and he's just running forward. Alright, so let's look at the red, the red box. This is the rocket nozzle, which, as you might imagine, shoots us basically straight up into the air. You can get a good bit of speed uh, from a dive after, after a rocket nozzle usage. Because so you can get a good bit of air off one of these things. And you dive forward afterwards, you can be going pretty darn fast when you come back to the ground. I'm just going to demonstrate the rocket nozzle by going up to the top of the shine gate. There's some cool stuff up here for later. Let's do a little dive. Hit B while you're in the air. You can go into a dive. And basically fall really fast into water. But somehow not penetrate the surface at all. Yay, game physics! If that B while you're swimming, you can swim underwater. And you can continue to hit B to uh, dive deeper. If you just swim around normally, you'll stay at the same uh, depth. You sort of slowly rise up. If you hit A, you can swim forward faster, but you'll come up a little bit. So the fastest way to swim forward underwater is to hit A and then B like this. Alternate. You see the most forward momentum. You sort of just zigzag up and down. But whether you're going up or down, you're going up. Or you're going forward. So it's fairly useful like that. 
Alright, what else is there to show? Hey, we can show the sewers, why not? Hit, uh, oh, I didn't do the ground pound yet. If you hit A and then hit L, the left trigger, you can ground pound and you can go down to these sewer grates. And you can also use this, the ground pound move to destroy boxes. That's pretty neat. Oh, wow, I feel like I'm <laughs> talking about something that's really easy that everybody already knows, but... Hey, some of this stuff is actually kind of useful, like the, uh... Like how far you can get with the hover nozzle. It may not have known that you can get that much horizontal distance out of it, but with the right timing, you can get a whole lot of distance out of the, out of the hover nozzle. And that's something that continues to amaze me as I play this game. All right, some of the stuff we got to talk about is some is fruit. We got some bananas. You walk up to him and push B to pick him up. Now this limits us. If I hit the right trigger to try to use my uh, my turret nozzle, uh, squirt nozzle, I mean, I can't do it. Mario refuses to use it. Because he has to use his hands on those handles back there. You can see the handles back there, can't you? He has to hang on to those when he's firing it, but he can't do it when he's holding a fruit. So basically, while we're holding a fruit, we're limited to, like, we can still use the spin jump, and we can still use the other, the side of somersault jump, and we can even still triple jump, and wall jump. But we can't use the hu the flood at all, which means we can't hover. So it's basically like we're floodless while we're carrying a flute. Or, er, yeah, or a flute. Fruit or flute, either one. Also, if you're running, you can hit B to throw the fruit, and if you, you can stop next to a fruit and pick up, hit B to pick up another one. If you throw it while you're in the air, you'll be able to throw it a lot farther, and that can, uh, that's often what you need to do, is to jump before you throw it so you can get it to go where you want it to go. Now, there are others. There are some kinds of fruits called uh, durians, I think they're called. Where are they? Do they sell any at the market over here? Let's take a look. Durians we can't pick up. We're going to have to kick them. Yeah, there's some down at the end there. These are durians. Or Durians, I'm not really sure how they're pronounced. I might call them Durans, because I like that band. Duran Duran. Hungry like the wolf, baby. Oh yeah. Now these things, if you run into them, you'll give them a good, pretty good kick, and you sort of just bonk. You really send them flying over towards this policeman. And if you jump right when you get to them, you can really send them flying. Like that one went all the way, both of those went all the way into the ocean. And I hope they come back. Yeah, okay, thank goodness. Boom! Bonk! Into the water. You get, a good bit of, you get a good bit of air out of it, too, when you do that. Let's see how far I can get it to go. Look at that. All the way to that wall down there. It hit the wall. It's pretty good. But that kind of thing doesn't work with the other fruits. Those you have to actually pick up. But the reason that you kick Durans is because you can't pick them up, because they're spiky. And so you're going to have to just kick them around. You kick them in the water, they disappear. And I believe that the other fruits will also disappear if thrown into water. Let's try it. Yep, they go, they go away as well. Alright, now the reason I'm talking about fruit is because we're going to need fruit in order to get access to something else. That's our old friend Yoshi up here, still in his egg. And he wants a yellow fruit. Great, I think that's right here. Get off that thing. Get off it! Get off it! Alright, hit B to actually drop down. If you use the hover nozzle, you can sort of gather up some momentum. And you can get a good spin off of this. If you let go at the right time, let's try it again. I'm going to get it to work. Nope, I can't get it to work. I don't, I don't like using that jump. You basically just hit A and it suits you flying forward like that. Because you have that uh, orbital momentum. What's it called? Not orbital momentum, but uh... That's bananas. We, want, we don't want bananas. We want the other fruit. I don't actually, I actually think that... Was it a pear? I guess it, I guess those are supposed to be pears. Like a pear back to Yoshi. Go over the buildings. If I can get over them, that's... Apparently not. That one's too high. Can I go over this one? Yeah, I can. Okay. Some of them are taller than others. Alright, so let's head back over there and get this pair to Yoshi. So I can show you guys all the things that he can do. Some of what he does is actually pretty neat. I'm not going to be able to show you all of it here. Because we don't have any enemies in Delfino Plaza. But when you shoot enemies with uh, Yoshi's juice, which is his equivalent of the water... Yay, he hatched! Hooray! And you can do a spin jump with Yoshi just like you can with a Mario. And you can really get some distance out of it, as you can tell. Get a good spin jump out of it. Or you can do a normal jump, hold down the A button, and he sort of kicks his feet in the air. We've seen this before, haven't we? Get more air out of it. You can combine that with the spin jump. You'll hear him making those sounds all the time. Whee! Don't fall in the water. <laughs> now, uh, if you hold down the right trigger, you can use Yoshi's juice, which basically is the same as water for him. That's his version of the flood, is that he just spits juice. Now, it's just like the flood, you can only fire so much at a time. Yay, juice! I'm trying to use it up so I can tell the difference from the amount of juice in this tank. Alright, see how the tank has gone down just a little bit? If we eat fruit, it'll refill it, and it'll also change Yoshi's color. Different colored Yoshis have different abilities. The only difference between them, really, is that when they squirt enemies, 
they turn into different colored platforms. So basically, well, these, these birds won't deal since they just disappear. But like, actual enemies like fish or like bloopers or something, squirt it, squirt these guys, or I think it actually might be just the fish. That probably sound, that's probably right. You hit them with the juice, they turn into a platform, and then the platform does one of three things. It either sits perfectly still, moves horizontally, or moves vertically. And I do not remember which color is does what. But we can get orange, uh, pink, and purple Yoshis in this game. And so each of those colors is going to do one of those three things. Oh, but one thing we do have to remember with Yoshi is that he cannot swim. So going into water with Yoshi, he turns green for some reason and then dies. I don't know why he turns green. But, I think that's all the time we have for now. And that's all for the uh, tutorial. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. There's something else I can think of right now. So if there's anything else amazingly important I need to tell you, I'll just tell you in the LP. See you then.